Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn how to create user or register user in Incognito using the AWS. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that this is the auth folder where we have auth config, auth controller, auth module, auth service. Okay, so we will go with the controller. So here we have a register function. Okay, and uh, you can see that which we take the parameter name, password and the email. Okay, so we'll go with the register function here. So name, email and the password. So here these are the functions. Okay, so we have the user attributes. We are taking the e name, email and the phone number attribute. If I go and just check, check over here, the Cognito, you can see that if I go and just check the things. So here we have the sign up experience. Okay, so if I go and see that this is a name, email and the phone number required attribute. So name, email and phone number are required. So you need to fill up this right. And the uh, rest of the functionality, if I go and check this one, this is email and the password and there is Cognito pool ID client ID. Okay, so where you get the user pool ID and the client ID. And there is one more thing that is called the um, that is zone i guess there is one more field over here there is a user pool user client id and there is one the region where it is the region part because region is required to create that one okay so have there is i just will let me see that because there is there there should be there right so how we get the pool id and the client id so we have to go with the this one and here here we go with the top there is a user pool id and the next one is the client id i guess right so another one is the client id so go here you need to go with the section that is called app integrations and here you get the client id just copy and paste it and add it and the region here we get this one the region so which one is the region you are in okay so here you need to go and just add it over here right and register user with the request name email and the password we are taking up okay and this is important for the sign up process this is the aws function okay the full fledged so email and the password that is uh, in, on which we have you are using whether it should be a username whether it should be an email or whether it should be a phone number so it depends on the settings you are doing while well creating a user pool in the aws cognitor right so i am making that the user can log in only with the email not the phone number Okay, so this I have added the email, the password here, you can see that. So here the name, email and the phone number, which I have added over here, right? I'm just make it a two. Okay, so moving to the next part. So this is the thing that will help to register that user. Okay. And after the registration, let's see it is created on the user pool side or not. And let's take a look on the API side also. So here we go with this one. So here we have a map with auth register. So you need to hit the trout and this is auth login. So I'm using the auth register part. Let's go to the postman. So here you can see the auth register here. I'm going to add my like fake email. Mailinator.com. Okay. And this is, I will add Rajni Kant, my full name. Okay, so let's send this. Rajni 90 millinator is created. Let's check the user pool. So reload this one only. And let's check the users. We have two users, right? Because this is the previous which I have created. This is that one I have created, right? So you can see that. But the email is verified, not confirmed status, not confirmed, right? But user is created. If I click on this user, I will get all the information of that one. Let's have a look on that one also. So this is the email name, phone number, and this is your ID, Cognito ID. So you can save it and use it anywhere else. Okay. So if this is encrypted ID, right? So let's check the mail goes on or not. So because it will go and it will send you the OTP to verify. If you got verified, it will mark with that it is verified. Okay, so let's have a look on that one. So here we go with this one, your verification code. The email is coming up, right? 
so you can see that the verification code right so this is how we can we are able to create the user in the cognito and the otp is also sending on our email in the next video we are going to learn how to verify that otp okay after the verification it will mark it as tick that the email is verified and the phone number we will also try to do that okay so the email we will do because we have selected the email part right in the next video we are going to learn the verify the code via email in aws cognitor next years thank you so much for watching this video have a great day don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day